Squid daisy chains are an essential item that you need to have in your spread when you're targeting billfish offshore. Today we're going to show you how to make a dropper rig that will create a lot more movement in the spread and attract billfish. Okay, so uh, most squid chains that we make are anywhere from six to seven squid. Um, our first one generally has a little bit more lead in it and it's rigged in line with uh, two two ounce sinkers. And that enables the uh, squid chain to stay down. And in order to do that, we find where we want our squid to be, put the crimp in place and have the two leads above it. Now just in front of that, we crimp our loop to attach to your swivel on your teaser line. And on that crimp, we like to add uh, a little bit of tag in, that way this squid can't ever jump over the top of it and get slid up your teaser line. From there, we like to go to our dropper line, and this squid generally has a little bit less lead in it. And that dropper is rigged off of a uh, swivel sleeve or a three-way swivel. And in order to rig that one, what we do is we find the spot on the, uh, teaser, or on the squid chain that we want our swivel sleeve to sit, crimp it in place, Don't crimp the end of the crimp because it'll pinch your mono off and you don't want to do that. And I'll create a weakness in the mono too. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Once you got your swivel sleeve in place, just get your squid all rigged up. Push the mono through your squid first. It makes it a lot easier to deal with. Slide your crimp on. Slide your lead on. Crimp it. And pulling it all the way up into the body of the squid allows it to stay deep rather than staying behind the squid, correct? Exactly. Okay. You'll get your best action out of the squid. Now once you determine how long you want your dropper, cut it to the length that you want. Go to your swivel sleeve. And crimp it on. So you're going to replicate that for three more times. The first one, you're going to have a two ounce in your top squid, two ounce, one ounce, one ounce, and then a half ounce in the end. But these can change depending on conditions. You can either make them heavier or lighter depending how rough it is offshore. The last thing you're going to do is your last inline squid. It's going to have the half ounce inside. You're going to put a crimp here to stop the weight from coming back too far on your chase bait. And then you're going to crimp a snap swivel in as well. This will allow you to attach your chase bait on the end. You're oft often going to see islander lures put here with either a belly or a mackerel or a ballyhoo. This will allow the billfish to come up and get a taste and stay in the teaser longer.